Welcome to Hanno, your expert for sealing and insulation systems. In this video, we will show you how to use the Hanno injection block correctly for your window installation. Install the window element including multifunctional tape according to the installation instructions or watch the video on installation with multifunctional tape. After you have fixed the window and the joint with the multifunctional tape is visually closed, you can start injecting the resin into the tape. Make sure that the selected injection areas are firm and load-bearing. Unscrew the top cap. Then screw the supplied cannula adapter onto the open cartridge. Fix the injection cannula with a protective sleeve by twisting it slightly and remove the protection. To calculate the correct injection quantities for supports with calculated load transfer, you can use the statics and injection quantity tool at www.hano.com. For spacers without required load transfer, use the spacer injection quantity auxiliary table on the first page of your instruction manual. Use the scale on the label to indicate the required quantity. Then insert the cartridge into a standard cartridge press. Inject the quantity of resin required for the joint width. Spread across at least three injections with spacing of around 15 mm. Pierce the multifunctional tape with the cannula and push the cannula to a depth of approximately 10 to 30 mm inside the tape, into the middle of the joint width. Moving slightly in and out in the direction in which you have pierced the tape allows the compound to be evenly distributed. As the multifunctional tape builds up relatively high counter pressure in the joint, the injection should be conducted sensitively but with sufficient pressure. After you have injected, repeat the procedure on the other side. Then inject the resin into the vertical joint in the corner bearing. When pulling out the cannula, be sure to wait a few seconds until the injection resin has been evenly distributed to prevent unnecessary swelling of the resin. Furthermore, when pulling out the cartridge, turn it vertically upwards and cover the cannula with a protective sleeve. Finally, repeat the process on all other necessary areas. The cannula adapter, cannula and adapter cap can be cleaned using a standard PU gun foam cleaner. In case of prolonged interruptions or breaks, you can remove the cannula and close the cannula adapter using the adapter cap provided or remove the cannula adapter completely and close the cartridge using the original cap. Once the Hanno injection block has hardened, the preliminary blocks or wedges can be removed. The multifunctional tape will soon close the gaps.